What's up, everybody? Peace, good day for you guys. Welcome back to the Town Hall 14, where C double is ended, and you can see on my brand new Reaper style base. Thank you for Jesse, aka Spooker, for making this one for me. If you guys want this, um, this base design, I could try. I could link it down below. I want to let want everyone to know if you guys want it. Um, in case I can always link it in the description for you guys but C double is over and we stayed in Champions League 3 so we ended up winning 4 out of these um, 7 wars um, I still really think that I made a mistake a very big mistake so as you guys can see here the third war we end up losing uh, we end up losing um, 29 to 31 with 87% um, total destruction to 78 which we had um as well so what i did i missed my attack and that is not fun not fun at all i think i made us lose we definitely i i would say that we probably were on close to be even being able to be promoted a little higher in the roster so i had a plan for this base and i'm going to tell you the plan and I ended up missing this war attack really made me feel sad because we really could have won this war. We probably would have only lost like two of our wars or even one of them. Um, that probably could have changed a lot as well. But like I said, never fun to miss an attack, especially CWL, which is the biggest stage in the game. And me being in Champions League 3, luckily we didn't demote. If we did, I would say it would be my uh, fault on that part. So, the plan I had for this base was a pack of bow back. And I would show you why. So, I would use two support breakers to break into this compartment. As always, we would use, I would have a drag and a balloon to start the funnel. And I would use a balloon, funnel that out. Then I would use the ice column and set the king, queen, ground warden, um, the four healers down as well. Because I would probably use a warden rock for that reason. And then I would have a log launcher. And I'll show you why I have the log launcher. Between log launcher and wrecker. Because I want to get the town hall. I want to take out the single. Take out the multi. Take out the scatter. Both scatters. Because most scatters are in the experiment. If I can get my CC into here. I'll be able to take the town hall. Both scatters. Come to the back end for the single. I probably wouldn't have got all this way to the eagle. But I would probably got pretty close. I would have pulled the CC when I'm bringing everything down. So I'll be able to fight the CC up top here. Pop the water's ability on top of the town hall. Take that out. And then I would, wherever is necessary, I would use the bats with the RC. I probably, I, I had a feeling I probably wouldn't be able to get a triple. But I would have got a very decent percent to probably even tie the war if possible or even win the war for us uh we 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 did pretty well we i think there were two missed attacks actually yeah there were two missed attacks and me and kratos missed um our attacks which which is really really bad on that part um but i would still think if i got my attack in we may have had a chance of winning um but we did we did pretty well we won the first two wars it should have been the first three um, but we went first wars and we did very very well you guys see some of these tasks a ton of a couple of triples which is always good you always want to pull a triple um at least two three triples in um in cw when you're starting out because you can actually do pretty well on that part we won the second war as well um we won we did three triples i i, yeah, I did one as well um starting on then we ended up losing the third war it sucks it really sucks but i still think even though we are um stayed in this league um, I really wish we did. A, I wish I didn't miss that attack and probably would have keep on going because when I missed it, I was subbed out, uh, which is reasonable because I would want to be subbed out if I missed an attack. So I'm um, glad they subbed me out. So I sat out for the rest of the city bell um, and helping out here as well. So um, now we're on to the fourth war. We did very, very well um, 33 to 30. And we did, we did, we put up some okay numbers like 30 plus. Um, I see about 90 plus 10 does do really well. So we had a triple from Spooker. This is the one that made the base. So we can we can watch Spooker's attack um as well. So let's see what he came up with. So I saw this attack initially initially um when he started it out, but Spooker is just amazing with his plans. Um he does some very interesting plans. So he uses the RC here to take with his scatter. He wants to set a funnel out of this uh compartment. So he's gonna use the RC with him busy. And then he will use the, uh, his ability here now. So he can get through that. She gets your defense and the RCs work 
is done. No more need for the RC. RC's work is done. No. He drops the Valkyrie with the, fun the funnel. He drops the king, queen with a nice golem. He's probably going to wall break into this compartment. He has regular wall breakers. He has a golem as well. So he has an ice golem and a golem. Probably to tank some of the shots of the super minions that came out. Wall breaker in. He drops the big dragon with the right hand side to take the funneling as well. Golem is in. He drops again. He has a jump. He has a jump and he's dropping. This was probably the best, the funnest play that I've seen him done in a while. So he has the, has all of the heroes here. All the heroes. King, Queen, Grand Warden. He drops in four, four headhunters. So he wants these two heroes. And you will guess what's in his blimp. He has five invisibility spells. And let's run it again. So he pops the Warden's build here to save the headhunters. And the blimp, because he wants the blimp into this back compartment. And the headhunters are just going to go to town on the heroes. And now the blimp is directly where he wanted it to be. And he's going to use a blizzard. Just beautiful planning on this part. And he's going to blizzard this entire compartment out. Town hall, bows, everything is going to be out of this compartment. The king and the queen is still going. The golem is still going. Golem is still tanking. So he did, he got, look at the base already. 47% with just a couple troops. Through four he all four heroes, Golem, Valkyrie, Ace Golem, and Headhunter so just got the center of this base. And he still has his main army. His main army would have been the Lalo. And he still has it. And he's gone through 50% of the base already. So he dropped some minions to clean up. And now he can Lalo this base. 50%. It's just that, just just his heroes, and he used another invisibility spell to even get some more defenses out the way, which is amazing as well. So now he can start. He's gonna let his heroes keep going. The golem is still going. The golem is still going. The golem's now um on the single, and now he's gonna start his lava because he has no air defenses. No air defenses are up right now, so he can lava freely. So he pops the stuff ability. He brought some abilities. Pops the king ability. And now he can lava. Just, just destroy the base. This is such an amazing attack from Jesse. He drops some back in balloons for that single because the queen can't reach it. He freezes up the sweeper and all the tethers and this base was melted when he dropped that blizzard. But GG to Jesse. I, like, I really like this plan. Just breaking out the base step by step. And you can see how easy this can be done. But GG Jesse. I always enjoy his attacks. He does some very far range attacks. He even done Barch in CWL and triple. So <laughs> it's beautiful to see. So we have Hoosier as well. So we can watch Hoosier before we call it the video. But this is one of Hoosier's attacks. And he's doing a Super Bowl attack. And I enjoy Super Bowl attacks um, as well. I rarely see them done. I'm actually doing them in CWL in Legends League right now. Where we'll be streaming as well um, on Twitch. So you guys can spot by there as well. But he does Super Bowler attacks. So he has four Super Bowlers. Super Bowlers are actually very uh, heavy troop wise. So they're like 40 holding space. So you have to be very crucial with them. So with the Super Bowler attack, normally see has a ton of Warden Walks. And he probably do Warden Walks because the Warden has better range than the Queen. So the um the, even though he does lower, he hits softer than the Queen, he has more range than her. So he's the Warden Walk. And he wants his single. So at this point, he wants his single out of the way. That's why he's dropping these balloons. The balloons are more distracting because he only has two freezes. And he needs them for the sentry base, which should be that multi. So he drops the balloons to the strat and he takes out this single pretty easily. And his funnel is going to be starting off here in a set. So he's going to probably, he drops into balloons on that um, cannon because he wants the cannon out of the way. So the archer tower would be his target. So then you can see he drops the... Log on the flame flinger. I'm actually using the flame flinger as well on this on the same attack strategy I'm using, and it works pretty pretty well. It does like the same funneling with the ground warden, uh, which is actually very very good. So he drops the flame flinger in. Flame flinger is going to do some splash damage on the town hall because he wants the town hall out of the way. He drops the ice column and he drops all super bowlers down, and they're going to go into this compartment. He drops the king over on that side with the bitches to start another funnel. And he wants to go got this entire center of his base. He's that's the flame flinger go. When the flame flinger is down, you don't have to worry about the flame flinger at that point. So 
He's going to drop another Rage here, and he has the Winner's Ability that he'll probably pop here in a second. He drops a Quake on the Town Hall, that the Quake was mainly just for um, insurance if he didn't get it. Um, he, if he didn't get the Flame Flinger shots on the Town Hall, so that's where he dropped the Quake, probably just to get it down quicker as well. Pops the Grand Warrior's Ability. Uh, so bowlers are just wrecking. I love the triple bounce with these bowlers. He still has two freezes and he can probably freeze this scatter if need be. But the warden is oh the warden was at the on the scatter, but decided not to take the scatter anymore. But now the super bowlers bounce with triple bounce took out that scatter and now the super bowlers are working. He has cleanup on the outside with the candy witches because the witches are still going and the super bowlers are still going as well. So that's one extra freeze and he doesn't have the RC ability either but that's not no way he does about that but this base is tripled by Hooja Gaming GG brother he hits he does some very very nice time flame finger still going he didn't use any CC troops just the flame flinger flame finger is just very very amazing to use um as well but that is amazing for us so we won the fifth one as well uh, coming out we did we I think we started to, to linger around like six and seven because uh, we ended up lose we ended up doing a, a ten of one stars these when the one stars started um to happen as well and we ended up losing I think we lost this one on percent yeah we lost this one percent um it sees eighty three no oh, no what is happening oh sorry we won the fifth war is the sixth war that we ended up losing um and the sixth and seventh war um thirty to thirty six so they really put up some nice stars on us. Um, a couple one stars really started to start to hit the fan um, at that point um, as well but that's it for me hope you guys did enjoy it let me know down below what you think about this reaper base um, I really I actually really enjoy it as well and if you guys do want to see it I would definitely try to link it down the description as well but that's it for me I will see you guys